Well, hello everyone. It's Yuli. I'm just briefly stepping on here. Of course. identification number or your federal identification number. It's also referred to as the EIN or the FEIN scam. Um, I saw someone doing this for $350. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And if you wanted it done super fast, add an extra 50. Scam, scam, scam. Go to irs.gov do this for free in 10 minutes. Yeah, $10, $50 to do it express. You can do this online for free in 10 minutes. This is a scam. You do this yourself. If you're running a business in the United States, you have to have an EIN. You have to have that for taxes. You have to have that for so many things. If you are running a business, if you are self-employed, you must have an EIN. Go to irs.gov. Obtain that EIN by yourself without any help from a scammer. Okay? Okay. Number three. Ah, oh, these people. A business license. You don't need these scammers to help you with the business license. All you need to do is go to your official county's website. Whatever county you live in, go to the official county's website. If you live in Sacramento, go to Sacramento County. If you live in Mobile, go to Mobile County. If you live in New York, go to New York County. Wherever you live, go to the county in which you live in, the official county website. And there is an area that will walk you through obtaining your business license yourself. What do you know? <laughs> Number four. Now, this is a personal decision, okay? Not, not everyone feels comfortable doing this. Trademarks, okay? Now, some may need someone to perform this service for them. Some may feel capable to handle this themselves. Um, I, I don't advise either direction. This, this is up to you. However, if this is something that you feel familiar with, you feel you can perform on your own, you can go to the United States Patent and Trademark Office, that's the USPTO, and you will pay the processing fee only, which is $250. Again, um, I don't advise either direction uh, because that depends on you. Um, I did it myself. But that's only because in my previous secular job, that was a part of my job description. I handled trademarks for a corporate office. 
Um, and that's why I was able to do it myself. However, if you don't have any experience in trademarks, um, you may need some help in that area. Um, that may not be something you want to just jump into by yourself. It might need, you may need to hire someone to do that for you. Um, but however, um, like I said, you are intelligent individuals. Um, there is no way that you can run a business and uh, not be intelligent. So you might want to just look at it. You may just want to take a look at the USPTO site and just scan through it and see if, you, if it's something that you think you can handle on your own before you hire someone. So just, just take a look at it. You know, you don't have to hire someone right away, but just take a look at it and see if you think you can handle it yourself. And if you think it's too complicated, then by all means, go ahead and hire someone. However, when it comes to that, uh, the uh, seller's permit and the EIN and the business license, don't you dare hire anybody, okay? If you have any questions about those, um, you need a little direction before you go out and hire, just send me a direct message. I would rather help you myself than have you go out and pay somebody, okay? All right, so again, yes, we are here to, here to sell dresses and to sell jewelry, but we're also here to help one another, okay? So hope we can do that. So hope you are having a wonderful day and that everyone is having a successful business right now. Um, the fall is here. We have a lot of fall sales coming up for all of you. And I look forward to supporting your shops. Um, I do try very hard to support the shops that I follow. And I will be looking forward to buying some items from your shops. So have a beautiful day, my loves. And uh, look forward to talking to you later. Bye.